Hello, my fellow witches and wizards. This is just kind of a random 5 a.m. question type of video, and also a kind of little promo to my Wattpad, but I'll get to that in a minute. So me and my fiancé were... We both took the, um... I took it a while before he did, and I got sorted into... Da -da -da, Slytherin! Obviously. And so I read him the questions, and he got sorted into, da-da-da, Gryffindor. Now, most of you guys are probably w gasping and shocked at this point. Com to cu a couple that's a complete different houses. And so we were planning date nights, and we thought that, I was looking on Facebook and thought that this would be the perfect date. Obviously, it says so right here. You can't see, but I'm gesturing to my screen. And we wanted to watch the Harry Potter movies over the course of, like, a weekend or whatever. And so we were trying to figure out, we were just talking and goofing off, because we were talking about which of our friends would be sorted into what houses. You know, the friends that haven't officially been sorted yet. And we were thinking, okay, so I'm a Slytherin. He's a Gryffindor. How on earth could that work out if we actually went to Hogwarts? Because obviously no matter what, we'd still be in love. Because you can't have houses mix like that. Although a lot of people sh uh, ship Draco and Harry. I don't quite understand that. But hey, fandom's fandom. So I'm basically just curious about you guys' opinion. Do you think that a Gryffindor and a Slytherin should never date? Or do you think that love is love and love should prevail? I just want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Obviously, this is just for fun and goofing off. Obviously, we're not actually going to break up just because of being in the opposite houses. It was just a fun, random question. And now to insert my Wattpad. I am actually working on a... If I can find it. Harry Potter... Uh fan fiction as the daughter I can't get to my profile because the little po dot thingy is in the way but um ugh. I don't want to continue writing that There we go. That's how I'm going to get to my profile. Because <laughs> I can't do it because of the thing ain't. It is too found garbage. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Let me get to my profile. Whatever. Well, I can't get to my profile. Mm. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. There we go. I did it. Ha ha. So... Obviously, I'm working on this, um, where is it? <laughs> there it is. I'm working on this, uh, Harry Potter fan fiction where you have the daughter of Harry and Ginny. being Cassandra Potter, or Cassie, and 
basically, it's published, so you can find it on my thing. Obviously, if you just want to go to my thing here. So there, I'll give y'all that on screen so y'all can go there and read my stories if y'all want. But, because we were talking about this, and we were goofing off, talking about, oh, it's forbidden love, it's so wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm actually writing a Harry Potter fanfic about the daughter of Jenny and Harry. And so basically Cassie's boyfriend, Brendan, gets, well, I don't want to spoil for the story, but gets, well, I'm going to spoil it anyway. His parents are Ravenclaw, both Ravenclaw. And he gets sorted into not Ravenclaw. And so Cassie's trying to figure out if they actually do end up going back, going up back, but going to Hogwarts, how would that work out? So I'm kind of writing a story based on our whole goofing off idea. But um, yeah, so let me know down in the comments if you think love is love and love should prevail or that a Gryffindor and a Slytherin could never date. It's forbidden. But anyways, I will transport myself out of here and see you guys in the next video. Adios.